Hey everyone, Max here. I wanted to do a video on how I'm solving the problem on my six acre farm here of actually getting Wi-Fi to the different parts. I've got Wi-Fi of course in the house, so I have internet no matter where I go in the house, but what about out there in the little fire pit area? Or what about way up there in the shop? Right now I don't have Wi-Fi in those places. And so I've figured out um, a solution, at least I hope it's a solution, and I'm gonna walk you through that right now. So I was gonna show you really quick the key areas that I'm concerned about getting Wi-Fi on my property here. The little area out here with a fire pit and a barbecue, and I spent quite a bit of time out there cooking during the day, or the, during the week. Uh, and I wanna have Wi-Fi out there so that when I pull up my phone, I could check stuff at work and do whatever, right? So that's one of the spots. And just being out here in this little field area, I'd like to be able to have some, some Wi-Fi coverage as well. My detached garage right here is another spot I'd like to have Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it's not, it's not too far from the main house. And then just about 100 yards behind me is my shop, where I spend a whole lot of time, and I really want to have Wi-Fi in there. And that one bar that I maybe get on my cell phone right now, as soon as you walk in there, it kind of becomes a big Faraday cage, and you don't get any signal at all. So it's absolutely critical that I figure out a way to get Wi-Fi in there. All right, so Netgear makes these Orbi devices. What I've done on my house right now is I've got the main Orbi router sitting on the second floor of our home. It's, it's a three-story. Uh, and then I have got satellite router down here on the bottom floor, and I've got a satellite router way up on the top floor. And they are mesh routers, which means you just add them to the network as needed. And adding them is super simple. And so you think of it kind of like a spider web. As long as the new router that you add is within range from some other router, any router, uh, it will extend the network. And I believe the extenders extend by like 2,500 square feet. So they're really useful and really easy to use. So I'm out in the spot where I barbecue and uh, I just went ahead and ordered and installed the Orbi satellite for outdoor use. And that is right here. So you can use that in freezing temperatures, you can use it in hot temperatures, it's made to be outdoors. Thankfully I do have a covering here, but they say it can also get wet. So I just installed that there. I've got great Wi-Fi coverage right here now. And you know what else I did? I put one of these Sonos Moves out here, totally portable. It just sits in its little power ring. And so now I've got outdoor music as well because the Wi-Fi has been extended out to here. So just something to think about as you extend Wi-Fi around your property. You could also put audio around your property, all integrated with the Wi-Fi. All right, so here's my plan. I'm going to install one more extender, satellite uh, router, right there. And that's going to be an outdoor one that I'm going to put on the wall. And I'm going to hopefully be able to run that off of the solar panels that I've got up there. So those will entirely power that. That'll give me Wi-Fi coverage in the garage while I'm in the garage and also out here in the driveway area and probably a bit out there where the garden is out in the other direction. And then up there at the shop, I'm going to do an indoor router, which will hopefully connect to the one that I'm putting right here. And so it's just going to be this long chain of routers to the house, which is just right over there. So uh, wish me luck. Uh, let's get this going. All right, here is the very first one that we're going to install today on the other side of the garage wall here. This is one of the outdoor satellite extenders. I'm going to put a link to this in the description for you. And I'll also link uh, all of the other different Orbi products that I'm using so that you know, because they're all compatible with one another. Bear in mind, there are Orbi routers like these and, and Wi-Fi uh, extenders that are Wi-Fi 6, and they're not compatible with these types. So make sure that you use the compatible types. Before I go to the trouble of fishing that wire power through the wall here and mounting it up, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in out here just to make sure it actually works with the other routers. I don't go to all that trouble and find out it doesn't work. So first thing I'm going to do is run an extension cord out here, just plug this in, and I'm going to walk you through the process on the phone app of getting this all set up. Here's the Orbi app, which you can download on your phone, and the home screen here shows you a network map. That was one of the cool things I wanted to show you. So here you can see the second floor is where my main router is plugged in. And then here you can see it's connected to the third floor router and also the first floor router. 
and then that satellite router that's out at the fire pit is linked up to the first floor router and that all happens automatically all right so to add a satellite you're just going to have to click this little circular home button here and then there's the add satellite button so as to position your satellite which we've already done and then there's going to be this wait screen which i think it's really just waiting for your new router which you just plugged in to power up so you've got to wait through this process there's no way to escape past it unfortunately all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go out to the router and we're going to push the sync button on the back i just pushed the sync button on the router and now i'm hitting next and it's going to look for the satellite all right it says one of one satellites found continue now i'm going to go back out to the network map tap here to see additional satellites okay Oh, here's the new one right here under Outdoor Orby. You can see they have the indoor ones listed here, the primary one, the two indoor satellites, the fire pit one, and here's our new one. All right, I got it installed right there. Doesn't that look nice? Now there's also an option. There's little lights on the top and the bottom that you can have it turn on if you want. They can just kind of remain on, but... I just leave them off, save, save power, and not attract attention to the fact that I have a router mounted to the wall of my garage. <laughs> All right, now we're going to head up to the shop up there, and we're going to hope that the signal from this one reaches up to the shop and penetrates through those metal walls. So this is the moment of truth. All right, let's walk up to the shop and uh, see if this works. You know, one thing I was thinking, too, in addition to being able to put like music around the property with Sonos speakers or whatever other wireless speaker solution you go with, I also have now the ability to put video cameras all around the property so that I can actually have some security, right? Like, I don't know what's happening up at the shop at night. I lock it up, but I don't know if somebody's trying to break in. And we're out here pretty remote. Chances are pretty low that's happening, but still, it'd be good to have some... Uh, extra security all right let's go in there all right i'm here in the shop and i'm looking on my phone and now i do actually have one little bar of wi-fi coming from that garage so once i install the other router in here i'm hoping the two of those will connect and i'll finally have internet out here so here's the other one that i got and this is the one for indoor use not meant for outdoor use uh, so it's going to sit here on my workbench if this all works out All right, check it out. I'm out in the shop and I've got full Wi-Fi bars now. So you can see all of the routers, the second floor, the third floor, first floor, shop, that's where we are now. And then our two outdoors, one the fire pit and the garage. So I think this worked. I finally have internet out in the shop. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video out here in the shop when I'm doing my workouts, when I'm working on stuff. I've got internet. I can play music. I can listen to podcasts. I can check work stuff. I mean, it's awesome, right? Six acre property here. The majority of it is now covered in Wi-Fi. There's a couple of spots way out in the field where if I ever wanted to put Wi-Fi out there, I could probably install another one of those Orbi uh, outdoor satellites and I would probably need to power that with solar or something. But hey, future plans, it could happen. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later.